it's story time with your host, Alex Witunski. Now, I know you're probably wondering, what kind of book are you going to show, am I going to show you? Well, I'm actually going to show you three books. But, you're probably wondering, where are these three books? Okay, wait a second. One second. someone made well actually I made these books yeah all by myself well the names were picked out by my mom shout out to my mom was Elizabeth Witanski well Elizabeth Benson Witanski anyway let's read the book now I'm not gonna read a bit of this because it's a little weird, but, and a little bit embarrassing, but, anyway, today the worst thing happened to me. Today I found a mysterious potion. I thought that it was green apple juice, so I drank, so I brought it home. Later, I drank the potion, and, skip. Then I knew what was happening. I knew that was my favorite character, Bunny, from... Piggy on Roblox. Now I know you probably know what Roblox is or Piggy, but anyway, let's get back to that. I can't let anyone know about this. I'll now I'm just gonna skip that ending. Now there's more to this book because, like, of course, it's a book. It's a day after what had happened to me. I made a decoy body that was supposed to look like me, but didn't really work out. Today I'm going to go to a lab where someone can make a potion to turn me back into a human. I don't know if the potion will work, but I'll find out tomorrow. He told me the potion will be done at 5 o'clock. This is all the time I could... Wait, no. At 5 o'clock. Today is the day that the potion is made. It's, it's 4.50 a.m. The, po the potion is almost done, and my mom is driving me to the lab so I can get the potion. Now I know in the, on the first page that I said I wouldn't uh, that I wouldn't let anyone know about this, but my mom had to know. But uh, this is just a fiction book, so this didn't really happen. It, it's just something I wanted to write. so I can get the potion. It's five o'clock, the potion is done. My name was called. I was going to the person who made the potion for me. He said this will turn you into a human, so I took his word for it. I drank the potion. After I drank the potion, I said thank you to him and walked out of his lab. When I, when I walked out of the lab, I saw other kids that were turned into animals, an elephant, a giraffe, a mouse and a zebra. I was shocked that other kids turned into animals. I walked back to my mom's car. I was in shock. My mom said, what's wrong? 
I said that other kids had drank the same potion that I drank. That I, yeah, that I drank. When I, when me and my mom drove home, I still looked the same. That guy lied to me. I don't know what to do since he lied to me, but I'm still worried about those other kids. I feel like he's going to do the same thing to them. Make a fake potion and say that it will work. That guy's a faker. I need, I need, wait. I have to find the real cure and quick because there is now a timer on my arm saying one, one day, 24 hours and 50 minutes. I was scared because I knew what it meant. It meant for how long I have until I'm stuck like this forever. It's the day after that guy gave me that fake po that fake potion and put a timer on my arm. It, I looked at my t my arm. It said three three hours and ten minutes. This is really bad. I only have three hours and ten minutes. I need to find the real potion before it is too late. I went to every lab I know, but none of them knew what to do. Now, I only have one hour and zero minutes. I was panicking. This has never happened to me before. I think I know who's, who's behind all of this. Mr. P! That is, the per that is the person that could be behind all of this. The timer on my arm now says 40 minutes left. This is really, really bad. What am I going to do? I went to one more lab. I looked for the lab owner. I found him and said, I need your help. I drank a mysterious potion and turned me into a bunny. Uh, Miss, sir, why do you look like a potato? He said, because I am Mr. P. What? I said. I did this to you. I watched you find my potion. I watched you drink my potion. I saw you turn into bunny. I did this to you. You monster! I wanted this to happen to you. I am the one who did this to you. Now, I get the point already. I did this to those other kids you saw at the other lab. At that other lab. And it looks like you only have one minute until you're stuck. Wait. Until you're stuck up as a bunny forever. Can you please be nice and make a potion as in fast forward, please? Fine. It, it's done. Oh, wait. When I'm reading this, I should probably wear this because, like, this makes more sense because <laughs> it's a bunny story. Uh, now drink it quickly. Okay. Ooh. Thank you so much. And one second to spare. My hands are turning back to normal. Thank you so much. Now do the, this for those other kids so they don't go crazy. Okay, so Mr. P made the cure for all the other kids, but before I left, Mr. P said, wait, just in case you want to become Bunny again, I'm going to get, oh wait, I need to turn, take this off now. To become Bunny again, I will, I'm will. i going to give you this Bunny potion and this human potion, just in case, winky face. Okay, goodbye Mr. P, goodbye Alex. Wait, how do you know my name? Your parents told me. Oh, okay, bye. End of story. Written by Alex Wachowski. Me. I wrote this story. Now, the next one. Mystery of the Bunny, Volume 2. Now, my dad accidentally spilled some coffee on this. But, but the, it's okay. It's been a week and I still have these potions in my room. So maybe I should drink a little a little bit of the bunny potion and save a bit of the, the human potion. 
After I drank the bunny potion, the same thing happened to me, like last time. So I was bunny again. But th then, again, but th then a portal opened in my room and sucked me in. I am now in my room again. But something was off. My family looked like me, and when I looked outside, I saw more animals. I was very confused. I went outside. My friends, Sean and Aiden, said, what's going on? I don't know, but, wait. Did, did you drink a potion that looked like green, that looked like green apple juice? They, they said, yes. I was in shock again. But wait, how did you get in this universe? We went through the portal in your house, they said. I, I had fainted. I woke back up on the ground with my friends around me. We need to find another portal so we can get back home, I said. I don't know, I kinda like it here, but I do kind of, I do want to get home too. Okay, so let's see what we can do. I have to turn it over because, uh, this, I, oh. Looks like I did this. It looks like I did this incorrectly. And this ending, and this too. Okay, whatever. It's the second day I've been been in this dimension. Me and my friends are still trying to make a portal to get back to our universe. Tonight, my family and I are eating human stew. My bunny mom said, "Eat up." I was disgusted at what I was looking at. I said, please excuse me. I forgot my water upstairs. I went upstairs and I had a walkie talkie. I called my, up my friends. I said, we can't stay here any any longer. They, they said, I know my grandma is serving a human pizza. My mom's serving human stew. I guess humans are the new food. Guess so. I gotta go. See you after dinner. You too. I went back downstairs. My mom said, what were you doing up there? I said, I'm not from this universe. My mom said, what? How come you didn't tell us before? I couldn't tell you after what you've been eat feeding me. I just, I just could not tell you. Well, you sure did something I do not like. What's that? Why? Do you know what liars get? No. They get killed. Wait, what? Now just stay right there while I get the carrot across my mind. I got to get out of here with... I gotta get out of here before my mom finds that crossbow. I know, I'll, I'll run out the door right before she comes out with the crossbow. Ah, ah, here it is. <laughs> Dang it. He ran right out the door. <sighs> okay, so I just escaped to my house. Now I just feel weird. Like, literally. I don't feel like I'm gonna pass out. Out. Oh, okay, I didn't have to literally do that. Sorry. I... Huh? What's going on? Why am I in this container? I feel weird again. Almost like something bad is going to happen. I looked around me. There was nothing here except two pigs. Oh no! There is not... This is not good. I know what's going to happen to me. I need to break out of here before it's too late again. Oh, okay. My walkie-talkie went off and my friend said, your mom is looking for you. I said, I am in a weird facility with two pigs, but don't tell my mom. Roger that, beep. <sighs> okay, just gotta find something to get out of here. One, oh, one of those pigs woke up. They looked at, at the container once before helping the other pig. They walked out of the facility and did not care to help me. I felt like I ha had a headache. There, 
Then my eye blocked out for a second, and I would I destroyed the glass. The glass. I was surprised that I had that I just did that. But when I saw a t but then I saw a tiny pig far away. Wait, do I know where those two where those two pigs live? I went to the house and amazed that I knew where the house was. I knocked on the door and one of the pigs opened the door. It was the little one. Bunny boy, it's been so long. Yeah, sorry. I've been doing a lot of things lately. Yeah, me too. Please, come in. Oh, okay. Wow, your house looks different. Yeah, we've been doing a lot of changes to the house. If you want to see Peppa, she's upstairs. I know, it's from the show Peppa. But like, I just wanted to add that in. I mean, I didn't have anything to show, so like, yeah, I just wanted to put that in. She's upstairs. Okay, thanks, George. Hi, Peppa. Oh, hi. Uh, how sh How else should I say? Should I say um the names I just said? Uh, Bunny. Let's just put it this way. Bunny. Bunny. It's been so long. Yeah, I know. So how have you been? So how have you been? So, so long how? So, I know. So how have you been? Uh, yeah, I know. So how have you been? So how have you been? Good, you? And you? Good, I have a surprise for you. Huh? Really? Yeah, just close your eyes. Okay. Peppa then passes out and George com then comes to see if his sister is okay. What was that sound? Oh no, wait, did I just do that? What did you just, what did you do, Bunny? I didn't mean it. Huh? I know, I know it all now. I saw you in that container. Yes, but you, but why did you not help me? I did not know if you, I didn't know if you had, can, I didn't know if you, if you could handle what you were doing. I think we better run. Why? Because there, I, because I did not know if you could handle what you were doing. I think we better run. Why? Because there, I did not have control of myself and now I infected your sister that's why we need to run oh okay that actually makes sense okay Paige. I ran out of the house with George after becoming half infected from that container and now for some reason I need a crossbow I know, I'll make one myself. And now I have my own crossbow. Okay, so now I made my, I have made a crossbow, but I need some ammo for it. But I don't know what I will, what will happen when I'm fully infected. I'm scared. Now this has never happened to me before. Now I have to go, have to be extra careful because I don't want to get fully infected. So, I just got back to my house and my mom put up defenses so I could not get back in. But I had a trick up my sleeve. Throw throw a rock at it. <laughs> yes, I knew that would work. Now to the end now to the end to now to end this once and for all. Instead of carrots being my ammo, I'm using rocks. <laughs> Now I've unleashed an infection out on the world. Ooh, I don't feel very good. Ugh. 
passes out. Ugh, what happened? Why am I in this room? Well, I definitely, well, I can't crawl out of the, the room. Huh, what's that sound? It sounds like a, a person. But how did a person get here? Why is there music outside the door? It kind of sounds like Peppa Pig's ending music of an episode. But how do I still have my crossbow? Huh, the door opened. My mouth talked for me. Thank, thanks for freeing me. I'm funny. Now let's get out of here. I know that's probably not what um, the text probably, that's probably not what the text says, but I just had to, you know, I just had to put that in because that's, that's what I thought. Anyway, I was confused. Anyway, I started following him and he said, why are you following me? I couldn't talk, just follow Okay, whatever. At the end, I saw Mr. P, and he said, "Thank goodness you, you two made it out. You made it out." And the person said, "I don't feel well," and then passed out. And then I said his name. Hang in there. Okay, this is gonna be my Roblox name. So just don't look up that name because, please, just don't. Because uh, that is my Roblox name, and if you have Roblox, and if you don't have any friends, then you de then you can't look me up. And like Goofy, but you just, oh wait, oh, I, I don't say it. Um, you can just look up my name. Now you can. Now you can hear it. Hang in there, Goofy Buddy 007. And then I'm, and then I'm suddenly following Goofy Buddy 007 again. And of course, he said the same thing. And in my head, I said, you know what? I'm just going to break down all the doors. So I broke down all the doors, and Goofy Buddy Double Seven said, wow, I can't believe you did that. I was so amazed. So me and Goofy Buddy Double Seven escaped, and now we're in a metro. And when Goofy Buddy Double Seven was done with everything, he saw that I had shot myself. He was sad that I had done that, but I had to do it. Now I can see everything. And then I got teleported to the outpost. And then I saw George walking to Goofy Buddy 007, Pony, and Dizzy. And then I flew down there and resurrected, my, and resurrected myself and killed all the soldiers. And then went into whatever this place is. I went back a page. Uh, whoopsie. Alright, there we go. So now I'm in the plant and Mr. P is there. I was angry for some reason. So I went charging at Mr. P and he had shot, then instantly shot me. And I stood there and then Piggy woke up and started chasing me. But while I was in that room, that Mr. P shot me in. I found a green key card and used it on it on the green key card lock. And then the door opened up and I saw a blue door, so I broke it down and found a bear a battery area. So I broke the bear battery thing and found a potion in it. But what I but what I did not know was was that this was my last adventure. I found the last potion and put it where it was supposed to go. After I put the potion on the stool and it, it gave me dynamite and then I put it down somewhere where it blew up the plant and turned it into destroyed memory. But it was different. It, it had the forest cave, the cafeteria from the school had the forest cave, the cafeteria from the school, the metro's vending machine, and the carnival game where you hit the bell. I got everything, I got everything, but I, but all I got was a picture of Miss P, and I thought it, that 
I, I, I had to give it to Mr. P. So I gave it to Mr. P, and he started telling us what happened. After that, Goofy Body 007 tried to go help to help Mr. P, but I pulled Goofy outside, and it was finally day out. But since I wanted to get back to the universe, but also cure this universe, I I will make a splash potion cure where I throw that cure on the ground and it heals all the infected. So that's exactly what I did when I when. I was done with the potion. I threw it on the ground and left that place. And just to tell you, it worked. When I got back to my house, I had to be stealthy because I don't want to be caught by my mom. So I walked in the house and I set off an alarm. But as soon as that happened, I ran into my room, drank the healing potion, and saw the same portal open up in my room again. I went in it. Suddenly, I was back in my room, and I so, and so I went downstairs, and saw my normal mom making normal dinner. Dinner, everything was back to normal. Time to go back to my normal life. I said normal a lot of times. End of story. Written by Alex Witanski. Me again. Now I have another one having fun being bunny but this isn't relevant to the story that story is done cuz um, in mystery of the bunny volume 2 I I said that uh that 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 I that I real that I wouldn't real that I didn't realize that this was my last adventure so having fun being bunny by Alex Rutunski now this one's still in uh this one's still in work. It's, I'm still working on it. Okay. Today I was playing outside with my friends, and of course I still had those two potions. But I wanted to have fun being bunny, so I did the same thing that I did last time and turned into bunny again. But this time the portal did not pop up. So now that I'm bunny, I can have some fun. So first I'm gonna ride on my scooter, but it wasn't that fun. So I rode on my bike. And that was much more fun, but later I got, I soon got bored of it. So I played kick the can with my friends. They kind of wondered why I, why I was bunny again. And I said so I could have a little fun. So I pl so I hid and found out that I had super jump. And I, I used it to see where Sean was. And I jumped over there and kicked the can. Sean was amazed that I did that. When he finally tagged me, but that was a mistake. When I jumped again, I jumped even higher than than before and tagged Aiden. That's it. That's all I wrote. Sorry guys, but that now this video is a bit longer than all of my other videos, which is good. 